Okay, besties. So we are expecting a winter storm in Texas over the next couple of days. I did a shopping haul earlier, but I did end up going to the store right before closing. I went to Walmart and HEB about an hour before closing just to see what was left in the stores. Just pick up a few things that I forgot for meals that I'm going to be making over the next couple of days. I wanted to kind of show you what it looks like here when temperatures start dropping because our stores sell out of things very quickly. In my area, the lowest temperature is gonna be about 11 degrees, which for a lot of the country, they don't consider that to be like extremely cold. I know a lot of places get so much colder than we get here. But just like up north where people, when it hits like 80 degrees, people start dying in their homes. That's how we are in Texas when it gets cold. <laughs> So our stores sell out of things, like I said, really quickly. There were so many people in the stores today and it was so hard to find things that you needed. And I think a lot of people have some form of like PTSD from the winter storm that we had back in 2021. I know for me, it was extremely traumatizing. Not only did the stores sell out of everything, but also we had a massive power outage our power grid went down in the state of Texas. We lost power on the first day of the storm. Our transformer blew on our house, which also meant that we weren't part of the rolling outages. So our electricity was one of the last to be turned on because they had to actually come out and fix our transformer. So we were without power for six days. A lot of people were without water and power. The temperature in our house was about 30 degrees, what our thermometer said. My son has a congenital heart defect. At the time, he was about four years old, three years old, and my daughter was a year old. So I had two babies, two toddlers, and my teenagers and my parents, who are both elderly with medical conditions. So I couldn't even sleep at night because I was so afraid that the people in my house were not going to wake up in the morning. I kept up so that I could make sure that everybody kept their blankets on and didn't kick them off at night. It was terrifying. One of the most horrible experiences of my life, especially because my son has the heart defect. At the time, he also was not eating solid foods and only drinking milk to get his calories and the stores were out of milk. The milk that we had went bad because we lost our power. I no longer eat at the fast food restaurant Wendy's because when I went to Wendy's, being one of the few fast food restaurants that were open during the winter storm, I asked to buy the milk that they had. The manager was so rude, but I did not care because I was so desperate. I was practically in tears begging her, explaining to her about my son's condition and that I needed milk. And she overcharged me for a lot of milk. I don't even want to tell you how much I paid, but I will no longer be a Wendy's customer. During the day, I was breaking up ice outside to use in our ice chest to try to save any food that we had. We were grilling food on the grill, going out to the car to get some type of heat. And around six o'clock every night when it would start to get dark, the entire nights were just horrible and extremely terrifying. I was begging people on Facebook and social media to take me and my kids in if they had power, offering to pay $100 for a half gallon of milk, and we were just all alone because everybody was in the same situation. I saw the most horrible comments on social media from people who didn't live in Texas saying people in Texas deserved this. And I just remembered like praying every night that my kids woke up in the morning, that we all woke up thinking how could people be so cruel and so inhumane. People out there selling firewood for hundreds of dollars. The world can be a really cruel place. So my prayers for everybody that is going to be in this winter storm. May you get through it. May we be able to keep our power on. Stay warm, besties. Let's just pray that our power grid that we know is hanging on by a hair can survive the next couple days. Be safe, besties.